ask Tom on home show. Kyle from Carrollton, Texas, has a question about a shower remodel. Yeah, he's his wife. He got an idea because uh, it's driven by something that his wife doesn't like, Tom. Okay. Kyle writes to us. He says, I'm looking to remodel my shower, but my wife hates the look of uh, tile and doesn't want to deal with all the cleaning of the grout. We recently came across a YouTube video with people using MDF e epoxied walls instead of tiling, and they look wonderful. Like faux granite, he says, Tom. <laughs> the remodel will make the walls in shower about six feet by four feet, and these are epoxy walls durable for, are they? He wants to know, durable for the long term. Would you recommend a different method? MDF, if it's truly an MDF, is a medium density fiber board. It does not hold up to water at all. It might look great, and it's used. A lot of architectural firms and stuff are using it in different ways for decorative walls. You can do different finishes on there. You can put your epoxy coatings. I'm sure it'll shed water for a while, but in the long run, you're not going to get a thumbs up from me on a shower by any means. Different type of wall coverings, maybe, but not in a wet area, no. Uh, there's a lot of different things, and today people don't like the grout. Fine. Usually you still have to do the floor and tile because what happens is you use small tiles and the grout keeps you from slipping. It actually uh, provides grip for your feet when you're walking around there. That's why you use the, uh, the small little one-inch tiles with all the grout. And if you take care of it properly and don't use a lot of chemicals, the grout will be fine. Now, if you want to do something different with the walls, then you have granites, you have uh, quartz, you have products like Silestone, man-made products that you can get made in big sheets. Uh, you can mix and match them. You can do decorative things with them. So there's a lot of things, niches, seats. You can be real creative with it. And believe it or not, unless it's all walls and not just an open area, a lot of showers today are all glass. And they're out in the middle of a room and they're doing glass where the glass, stay, all you have to do is squeegee it. Or you can even get glass now that sheds water real easy and almost self-cleans itself. So it's, there's a lot of options, but MDF board, not from Tom Tynan. Two thoughts on what you just said, Tom. Number one, mm -hmm. um, in backward order, glass showers. I think if you're getting a glass shower, you're also getting a water softener, especially down in, in the Texas area oh, yeah, where well, we live. Like we we'll anyway. Hard water. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be like get, chasing those water spots all, all the time. But more importantly... I loved what I loved what uh, Kyle wrote here. He says that it looked great on the video. Oh, yeah. well, I got news for you. A lot of things look great on TV. <laughs> you know, like take us. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, right. but but in real life, it's amazing. It's one of the things that, you know, I work in the business and it amazes me, Tom, when I'll walk onto a set where of something that I've, I've seen shot and I've only seen it on TV, how different it yes. looks in real life. So... That's yeah. the problem with these, the, what I call the YouTube Yahoo is putting these videos out there. They're misleading. I'm glad that you were able to straighten that out and, and maybe save people from making that MDF mistake. Yeah, and Charlie, I worked in television for years uh, early in my career, and I didn't like it. I thought it was a true lie, the way these home improvement shows were, were cooked up and made to look so fantastic. Everything was so easy. And when you watch the show, you said, that's not what happened. Uh, they would make the lights light up by just putting a couple wires there saying, oh, look, the switch, it's all on. It never was. It never got finished. The, the homeowners got stuck with a lot of stuff. So I'm not a big fan of TV. And ob ob obviously, after saying this, I probably will not get another job offer in television either. That's why we do our videos because the videos that we do are not like yeah. that, are not that kind of make believe TV. I'm glad you brought that up because it is yeah. different. And radio right. too. I mean, it is what it is. You put it out there and it's done. So, yeah. but when you get into produced TV shows, uh, it, we call it. Isn't that a great show? They went. Oh, isn't this great? Oh, isn't that great? Oh, look what you did. This is great. It's 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 a lot of uh, fluff to it. Yeah, they're not there when these makeover shows completely redo the house. They're not there when the tax assessor shows up the next week. <laughs> That's true, and you give your free house away because you can't afford the taxes. That's exactly right. That goes, hey, right. I want a free car. By the way, you owe the dealer $14,000 mm -hmm. and set up in taxes, exactly. and don't forget the undercoating they put on there. Uh, aren't, aren't, so, yeah, yeah you've got to be really careful. Aren't we the, the picture of sunshine and light here, huh? All right. But, Charlie, here's one thing on your videos. 
And this is what people don't understand. When we do a video, we do it with a certified home show pro who has a client that paid to have the project completed. They're paying out of their own pocket and they're nice enough to let us come in and do the video. It is not a production where we're doing the work and we're making it up and then we leave and leave them a big problem. This is a true paid job from homeowners who are footing the bill on it. Not for the right. video, but of course for the project. Right. And, and we're not making up projects because somebody's paying for a video. Nope. I mean, a lot of these home shows will do that. And I don't mean to be trash on the home shows because, you know what, there, there's, there's a sliver of good stuff in there. The, the Ask This Old House stuff is usually real good. Um, those guys are good. I've like met that. them. They're pretty, Th those they're, guys they, are they solid. They do finish the projects. And there's stuff, the Magnolia things that are that are pretty good, too. But, I mean, a lot of the rest of it is like, you know, come on. It's, it's make-believe. By the way... Yes. Just we, we didn't we haven't talked about this in a couple of videos. If you're looking for home show pros you can trust, you can go right here and, and see all of our home show pros. They're right there at homeshowradio.com on our uh, homepage right there, and you can see where they're all displayed for your um, access, and you can also search them by content. If you're ever looking for something in the Houston area, um, that's that's where you can find them at homeshowradio.com. That's also where you'll find the Ask Tom form right there over there um, <laughs> where you can fill out your questions and send it and just hit that blue button on the home page fill it out send it in we'll do a video like this post it on our uh, our website there or our facebook page or our youtube channel 